Yeah, I guess. Right. Hello. Well, that's weird. My music. My music stopped. Don't, don't touch me. Don't touch me is here. Paper biscuit failed heat sink. Sir Austin. Pagala, pag, pagaili. Pagaili 21, how do you say it? Yeah, go watch the Starfield review, Father Joe. Go watch it. Thank you, Josh. Captain McDobber, thank you for watching the review. What up, y'all? Give me a second. All right. Okay. Uh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, Starfield review is up. If you haven't seen it, it just went up just now. Go queue it up. Watch it. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Nice. Okay. Just finished your playthrough. Good. Thirsty Delt. OJ. Yeah, man. That boy, is, his comedy is amazing. It's amazing, isn't it? The Jasons. Just love his timing on everything. <clears throat> Undead Caesar. You can finish it now. I'm going to learn how to play Star Trek Infinite, so it ain't going to be that interesting until I figure out how to play this shit. Hey, starting things off right, Commander Deadbane, thank you very much. Not only that, but you've been with me for a hundred and seven. A hundred and seven long months, thank you. That's a true, true original OG. That's an OG. New DLC, what? Okay, I want to check this out. Oh, yeah, Geek Vacation? Yeah, it was, a, it was an idea. This, uh, Well, I'm actually going to get the guy on a call, and I'll just have him explain it. It's probably the best way to do it for Geek Tours. Ho! Oh! Ho! Oh! Ho! Oh! Oh! Ho! Oh! Ho! Mike Z is here! <laughs> Mike Z supporting the channel for so damn long. Thank you for five gifted subs, five new members to the Angry Army. Okay, I love, I love me some Star Trek. I love me some four X's. I'm not that great at grand strategy though. So let's, let's see if we can get a good grand strategy. I mean, this is essentially Stellaris, and I think I like Stellaris. Oh. So, let's see, DLC, enable that voice pack for the Klingons. Yeah, it's 30 bucks because they know it's basically just a skin for uh, Stellaris. At least, at least they're up front about it. They don't try to charge you 60 bucks for it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I appreciate the honesty. I'm hoping this will have very good sound effects, good Star Trek music to really get me in that mood. I really want another Star Trek Armada. Yeah, uh, that's Caprica game, and that's that was one of the best. Not a mobile game. Nope. Own it forever. Still don't know how to play it. That's me too. <laughs> me too. That's why I'm giving it a shot again with a Star Trek skin. Because if anything's going to make me, force me to really learn it, it's going to be one of my favorite IPs. You've owned it for so long. Still don't know how to play it. <laughs> yeah, every time I play Stellaris, I actually have to watch like an hour-long tutorial video from YouTubers to like even know what the fuck I'm doing. 
That's what you get with a grand strategy, you know? All right. Thank you, Apache, for watching. You helped make that review, my man. Thank you for supporting the show. What the fuck is that? I've never seen a that ship from the uh, Romulans. It's more like a Borg. Borg ship. Ooh, maybe a star base. Probably a star base since the, you got some Klingon star base looking things there. Why not Paper Biscuit? Never play multiplayer Stellaris. Why? Rat with a gat. I have not checked out Gen 5 yet. I'm not really interested. Characters. I don't really give a shit about students. College kids, you know. <laughs> Bullshit. Better than the boys. Get the fuck out of here, sweet. All right, well, if enough of you say it's good, then I won't skip it. But you have to have quite a few more of you say it's good. Yeah, this is this pretty 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 long loading times. I don't think I installed this on my SSD though. I probably should have done that. I didn't know I needed to. It's a 4x game. You don't you don't need to do that. <laughs> you need to do it with Starfield, but not with this. So I didn't do it. Mr. Starovkin, okay, cool. It's good to know that. I mean, it's gonna be thousands of dollars. This is a vacation. It's not. It's not gonna be cheap, obviously. Um, I'm still trying to work it out with Geek Nation tours. I think. I mean, it really just depends on who gets back to because he, he's talking to a lot of different like private events, guest speakers, cool bits that we can do, game companies that we can go to. Would be cool. So. One of them, I think, is, uh, you know, UK. The UK, somewhere in the UK. Pharaoh. Yeah, I'm looking Total War. I was thinking about also playing some Total War Pharaoh. Um, I don't give a shit about that time period. And I don't know. The game kind of looks... Somewhat like a Troy. It's a shame. And I don't even know if Troy was good or bad. I wasn't really interested in it. So I'm not really interested in Total War Pharaoh either. They need to go back to Medieval. I need Medieval 2. Or Empire 2. Those are the ones that I want. Defiance. Never lost. Make it so. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Best Starfield review on YouTube. Thank you. It may be a month and a half late. But it may be the longest. And it may be the best. How about that? Not many reviewers bothered reviewing it. Because it's so fucking big. Uh, and if they did. Then they just like. You know. Talked about it real quick. Um, but no. There's some good ones out there actually. All right, well, we finally loaded. Jesus Christ. It's quite a bit. Okay. Mm. A Civil War Total War. Yeah. The problem with that is Total Wars really do better if the scope is large. A lot of factions, a lot of countries. That, I think... Total uh, a s Total War Civil War could be like one of the sagas, like their little smaller side games. But uh, yeah, I'm trying to think what a good Total War game would be. World War Two? No, I don't think so. Maybe World War One? I? I don't think so either. I think we just need to bring it back to medieval, 
bring it back to empire, uh, you know, Napoleonic Wars with today's technology. That would be good. G-Man positive on Pharaoh? I don't know. I see, I've seen a lot of negative on Pharaoh. I know it's doing horribly. Like, it's the least played Total War game. So. I would love Total War Warhammer 40K. I know it would probably not be right, but I don't give a fuck. I, I, I'm down. Okay. Play tutorial. This is your first time playing Infinite. We strongly recommend playing the tutorial. Would you like to? Okay. Yes. Because I have no fucking idea what I'm doing. Yeah, watch the Starfield review. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Give it a, a upvote. Li uh, send it to a friend on your phone. Lost a true Federation. It helps. The United Federation of Planets. Man, I loved... You know what? Uh, there was a game called Birth of the Federation that I just loved. It, it it doesn't hold up by today's standards, but I just remember all little sounds. United Federation of Planets, Romulan, Star Empire, Klingon, United Federation of Planets. You'd click on the little logos and they they'd talk. Um, yeah, so I'm hoping this will be at least good like that. Hmm. Get a lot of people talking about Gen Gen V. When do they do new episodes of that? Maybe I'll have me and the boys watch. Star Trek Armada is another yes, very good one. I would say Star Trek Armada, but if you true OG, there was one before called Birth of the Federation. But it's more 4X. Armada is RTS. All right, so uh, I guess the tutorial is going to be the Federation. You better say engage if I press engage. Red alert. The Klingon colony on Kitomer is under attack by a Romulan ambush. A Federation starship Fine. is already inbound to intercept the Romulan birds of prey and provide support to the besieged colonists. However, given the possibility of further attacks, we must perform an immediate review of our readiness protocols. Let us begin. I guess they probably don't have uh, John Luke Picard's voice. Make it so. In space, one's frame of reference is everything. Take a moment to familiarize yourself with the camera. Okay. Zoom in or out using the mouse wheel. Holding right click and moving the mouse will rotate or change. I need some cookie dough. While the WASD from and arrow keys the store. move the camera directionally. When ready, Safe to click eat on cookie our construction dough. ship to begin the readiness protocol. I see cookie dough that I guess was not safe to eat for some reason. But this is safe to eat cookie dough. Whoa. Mouse wheel. Nice. All right, space, one frame. One's frame of reference is everything. Take a moment. Zoom in and out. Hey, King Venom. Thanks for all the content, Joe. Thank you. One year anniversary. Thank you for one year of support. Twelve months. Some cookie dough has raw eggs, which so you can give salmonella. Aha. Thank you. Salmonella. Well, this tastes exactly like it has eggs, so I guess they found a way to simulate that. Click on our construction ship, but I don't see the construction ship. I see a star base. This is the beating heart of Starfleet, a Federation starship. To move the ship, no, it isn't. Use the move button on the ship's action panel. Ships can also be moved with right click. Generally, maybe right it's inside. Any object in the game will open a drop-down menu showing all available interactions. Notice that our starship is not yet accelerating. Unpause the game, and your orders will be set into motion. How do you unpause? Now, time is moving forward, and our starship is accelerating toward its destination. You have the ability to pause, unpause, or change the relative speed of time. 
Time is a mysterious thing. Even the most experienced Starfleet captains do not fully understand its complexity. What? Yeah, they do. Elite Force. I did play Elite Force. I liked Voyager. I'm a Voyager fan. A lot of people hate on it. I don't. I disagree. I think it's great. Uncooked flour also causes food poisoning, believe it or not. Mm. Mm -hmm. Because the possibility of prolonged conflict with the Romulans. Oh my god, that's a lot of resources. Jesus we Christ. I need to keep track of all of that. Construct new space stations and ships, settle new worlds, and keep all other aspects of the Federation running. Remember not to let our resources fall below the minimum threshold. Uh huh. I don't, I don't know what the minimum threshold is. Tuvok was the best part of Voyager. I think seven of nine. Um, Tuvok. Yeah. Information is power, and the key to peacefully resolving interstellar conflicts. For this, we must rely on tooltips. To learn more about something in the HUD, hover over it and view its tooltip. For an example, view the tooltip of the highlighted icon to the left. Energy credits. Select our construction ship again. We will need new structures to defend ourselves from the Romulans and minerals to build them. First, select our construction ship and choose Build Mining Station from the Action Panel. Then, find the highlighted object where a mining station can be built and select it to begin construction. If a highlighted object is not visible, try moving the camera. Our mining station will soon be under construction. We can build mining stations on many nearby astronomical bodies. Thirsty Delt, uh, the boys played that. They told me it was horrible. We don't acquire these resources. Other parties will. Star Trek Resurgence. They told me it was real bad. It's my fucking ship. Our construction ship is en route to its destination. We will be notified when our mining station is complete. I fucking see the ship. What the fuck did hey the Joe. ship come? You wanna play a zombie game? <laughs> no. no. Bro, what the fuck? Oh, okay. I guess... There's a percentage down there. S Sir Austin, I don't know what that means. Mike zero zero one minute ago. Thank you, Mike. Zero zero. Yeah, Godzilla minus one. When does it come out, Tynos? I haven't played it enough. Sewer crab. Our mining station is operational. Arc two is still coming. Are being added to our monthly resources. Not every station will yield the same output. Y you mean the Vin Diesel one, right? Resources are not uniformly distributed throughout our galaxy. As the 
Federation prepares to face the Romulan threat, proper management of our planets will be critical to ensure neither our prosperity nor the rights of our member species are harmed. Select the highlighted planet and open its planet summary screen. Remember, buildings are where communities gather and work together to create things greater than the sum of their parts. A free slot must be available before a building can be constructed. Once the building is finished, it will have an upkeep cost. The effects for all buildings can be checked in their tooltips. Select a free slot and choose any building that suits the needs of the population, such as a replicator. Okay, we have a uh, planetary administration. We have a Starfleet Academy and we have a research laboratory. They suggest replicator. Replicator, planet limit one. 252 time, 400 red, upkeep two energy. I guess if I look in the top left, I have plus 29 energy. So if I, I guess if I click this and uh, it's built, it'll go down to 27 energy. Okay. Planet modifier, plus two to artisan jobs. What do artisans do? They produce deuterium, food, trade, value, and amenities. Uh, okay. Districts are areas of a planet zoned for specific uses, such as housing our pops, producing resources, or creating jobs. Intelligently zoning our districts can mean the difference between a successful world and one with deep systemic issues mm. that will negatively impact our wider civilization, including our ability to defend ourselves from external threats. Go ahead and build a city district. Well, we're going to need to get rid of the money because San Francisco right now is a shithole. It's too expensive to be in. I don't think the uh, the headquarters of uh, Starfleet would be there <laughs> in our timeline. Uh, housing. Go ahead and build a city district. Construct a district. Construct district. So, I only have two districts. It produces two clerk jobs, one building slot, and five housing. And we have eight housing. Population. Uh, and, it, and it says here, population housing needs 26. We have 21. That's probably why it's asking me to build. Buildings need pops to use them. It doesn't make sense to pay upkeep costs on empty buildings. So a world should be home to a sufficient number of pops for its infrastructure. Unemployment will rise if pops are mismanaged, but can be reduced by creating enough jobs. Okay, so two available jobs. Close the planet management window by clicking the X in the window's top right. Not sure if I fully understand. Shouldn't I fill those two jobs? Close management. Above all, readiness means having the best possible defenses for our own world. Star bases can be upgraded with shipyards and many other valuable structures. Star bases also give us ownership of the systems we have surveyed and formalize the status of those systems as part of our territory. Find the highlighted star base and select it. Whatever course you decide, a strong response to the Romulan attack on Kittimer will require us to build ships. This star base already has a shipyard. The specific modules a starbase has depends on its intended use. Open the shipyard tab. Starfleet's charter dictates we maximize our knowledge about nearby star systems, both to broaden our scientific understanding of local space and for our own defensive purposes. We cannot protect what we don't understand. Yeah, Goonie Goo Goo, man, you could talk about Starfield for two hours. It's such a big game. A new science ship has been ordered. Construction will commence soon. Remember, you can unpause the game using H the time Henley controls. Design.
<laughs> Thank y'all. Glad y'all are watching the Starfield review. Go check it out if you haven't already. Good evening, Samurai Queen. How are you tonight? We I'm feeling good. To the bridge Got that review out finally. Oh, it feels so good. Oh, it feels good. Now I can play whatever without people yelling at me. Like this game. I want to see if it's any select good. Select our new science ship. Okay, select the science ship. Click on the empty leader portrait in the ship's action panel to assign a The USS Ervolina. No. I don't like that. I'm going to call this the USS Samurai Queen. To recruit a new scientist, click the recruit button. Put the cursor over the trait icons to view the details of each trait. Check if any could improve survey speed. If no traits match the task at hand, any scientist will do. Choose a scientist and select recruit to assign them to the ship. Mm, mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, Ravik, Jean-Marc Conan, Omar Zhang. Research fee, 15%. Hey, Mithril Phoenix, thank you for continuing to support us. 46 months, Mithril. Destroy, wait, destroy a world, Jesus. Research speed and military theory. Research speed and materials. Leader level cap negative two. He's complacent. Well, fuck that guy. Military theory. Yeah. This leader's compulsion to find new technologies for killing and war may rest heavier on their conscience someday. It's a chick. She's a Vulcan. We'll have a um, W. Miss Scarlet. Select our newly recruited scientist and a success. Our scientist has been assigned. Our science ship is now fully crewed and ready for its first mission. Can I not change the name? So Miss Scarlet is assigned to the USS Samurai Queen. <laughs> yes, that's that is correct. Now it's time to I got my females. Go I got my females in the angry army starting galaxy, the Federation. Zoom out and see the entire galaxy. We need to recruit Drink Stealing Joe into the United Federation. Yeah, this is Stellaris. It's just a Star Trek skin, basically. Open the galaxy view. Click on the galaxy view. This is our galaxy. Our home. And the home of most other intelligent species we have contacted, including mm. those hostile to us. The intricacies of anything on mm. the galactic scale can be daunting, to say the least. To make it more easily navigable, let's examine the quick access panel to the left. I wonder if this is accurate to the actual lore. There's the neutral zone. Got the Bajorans. Got the Betazoids, right? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't realize that Cardassian is so so close. Uh, let's examine quick access panel to the left. The mission log will be our main center of operations throughout the game, and the first place where important information is updated. To open it, use the F1 key or click its icon on the quick access panel. The mission log stores all of these tasks, including after special forces. Thornator, thank you. Thank you for all the streams and YouTube videos. Big dog Joe, big dog Joe. Thank you, Thor. Get to complete missions marked tutorial for further training once this protocol is finished. Nothing surpasses sending a science ship to perform close orbital scans. Yeah, this is what you do in Stellaris. Okay. Survey a star system. Finally, the outliner is the tool we use for quickly managing our colonies, fleets, and the various Starfleet agents we have sent across the galaxy on special assignments, such as governors and spies. I don't know. If you're not getting notifications, that's concerning one time. Double check. Finally, uh, okay, so yeah, you got planets, you got shipyards, space dock one, construction ship, science ship, the USS Samurai Queen, the construction ship, the USS Nimble. We need to change that name too. 
How do I go there? That's the USS Paper Biscuit. Paper Biscuit makes makes stuff. You Success. construct stuff. A new Federation security is more about has been upgraded. Although the Romulan attack on Kitimura indicates troubling times ahead, we are prepared to meet their active aggression and any other that could harm us or our allies with a united front. The only certainty in the universe is uncertainty. As new challenges arise, it is the Federation's duty to protect the rights and dignity of all. Okay. Federation News Bulletin. Keep your advice turned on. Oh man, that's it. Alright. Uh, Kittomer has fallen. You will play preceding the game as a Federation. Continue to explore and check the mission log. If you would rather play as the Klingons, Romulans, or Cadessians, return to the main menu and start a new game with a different empire. You owe me five dollars. So I walked up back to my house. I don't want none of that. Skull Crusher, the ride that never ends. What's up? 116 months. Thank you, Skull. We just looked to Skull to see how many months total is it. He's got the total month number. Uh, in the blink of an eye, the relative peace enjoyed throughout the Alpha and Beta uh, quadrants for the past half century lies shattered. A brutal Romulan ambush on the Klingon colony of Kittimer. 4,000 dead. Though a Federation ship intercepted the Romulan secret transmission, by the time they arrived, only a handful of survivors remained. This massacre marks the beginning of a new political era in our galaxy, one of opaqueness, uncertainty, renewed hatred for old rivals, and mistrust amongst even the staunchest alliances. How, do we, how we choose to treat others will determine our future of our Federation. We will be proactive in greeting other civilizations. We will be cautious towards other civilizations. We're going to be cautious. Incoming transmission. Notifications are small, round icons that appear at the top of the screen to give updates on current events. Open notifications with left click to make important decisions or to view the actions of the other civilizations in the galaxy. Right click notifications to dismiss them. Independent supported Romulan Star Empire. Bajoran Republic. Romulan Star Empire will now support the independence of the Bajoran Republic. Their overlord must not must be none too pleased. I don't know who their overlord Go is. Screen we'll shows our current relationships with nearby civilizations and our options for making contact with them. Oh, the Cardassians. Here we can That's declare right. war, establish alliances and trade deals, or view our intel level on our allies and rivals. Our relations with other civilizations can range from terrible to Federation news bulletin. Many of the finer points of diplomacy, such as making mutually beneficial agreements, require a higher level of relation. Envoys can be sent outside our borders to complete first contact procedures and to improve or harm relations with our neighbors. Our entire intelligence community is hard at work attempting to learn the full truth about the Kittimer plot until we discover the reasons behind the Romulan Star Empire surprise attack on the Cleons. Our spies will be unavailable to us. Tensions remain high. Incoming transmission. Um. Yeah. The USS Ceratos is now available for missions. Ceratos. Our science ship. While all Starfleet Isn't that uh, ships, these vessels Star Trek Lower Decks or something? To survey Sounds familiar. For resources, research anomalies, and complete special projects. Colonizing new plants, how we create new worlds for our populace to live on. Each colony we settle creates the opportunity of new buildings. Colonize a planet, build a colony ship. It is from the lower Incoming decks. Incoming transmission. Thought so. Incoming transmission. Bro, what the fuck? We will do our best to understand you. We propose establish mutual embassies. Agree. Independent support of Klingon Empire supports independence. Designating our colonies allows us to specialize. 
Signing the designation bureaucratic world will increase administrative. We will do our best to understand you. Form a research agreement with the Bajoran, Betazoids, yes. We will do our best to understand you. Form a commercial pact with the Betazoids. Yes. Yeah, the close ties with the Betazoids make sense. Money howls. Excuse me, I, I, I have the Klingon DLC. Why is he not speaking Klingon? Wants to establish mutual embassies. Is it only if you play as the Klingons? That's fucking stupid. Yeah, Skull Island, Rise of Kong. We're going to be playing that tomorrow. It's going to be a good time. Definitely join us tomorrow. I cannot wait. Says Joe disingenuously. Yeah, so now that now that you're now that the training wheels are off here, I don't know what to do. You know, I need I need more tutorial, more. This is our galaxy. Most vessels cannot travel unlimited distances, with the exception of science ships. A starship's warp range determines the maximum reach it can move in a given direction. A ship's warp range is determined by its proximity to the nearest starbase. Building starbases will increase our overall warp bubble, allowing our fleets to venture farther into the unknown. Diplomatic constraints, such as other civilizations closing their borders to us, will decrease a starship's warp range. Pay close attention to who allows us to travel freely through their territory. While this map is open, Clicking on another civilization's territory can provide some basic information. Oh my god, they made Nerf Legends. Changing oh, this is becoming a rival of the Angry Joe Show. others' them. opinions of us, AI attitude, and more. Let's send the USS Saratos into Romulan space, because fuck it. <laughs> I got a Miranda class. screen shows our current ruler, values, and any modifiers that may be affecting the day-to-day -day functioning of our civilization. Our demographic... Starbases are the most basic, non-planetary units of our civilization. Each starbase we build brings a new system into the Federation. We can also capture hostile starbases by making claims on them. Starbases can be upgraded to include shipyards and other valuable modules. Their presence in a system also expands our borders and increases the warp range of our starships. Once a starbase is built and that system falls under our jurisdiction, we are free to build research and mining stations there, or to terraform and settle any worlds that may be hospitable to life. Federation News Bulletin. Okay. Oh, it is, Mike. It definitely is. That's why it's only 30 bucks. It is 100% just plain old skinned Star Laris. It would have been great to get a real 4X. Um, Star Trek built from the ground up, which is why I'm having a feeling of disappointment already. Edicts are used drastically to push our economy, military, and, or general efforts. Edicts have a cost.
Fleets are the main organizational unit of the Federation's forces under the umbrella of Starfleet Command. All Starfleet ships double as research or combat vessels as needed and can be ready for action at a moment's notice. An admiral should ideally be assigned to command each individual fleet. Birth of the Federation, yep. I think I'd rather be playing Birth of the Federation. I wish there was an open source one there they were trying to make a new one. Second Oh shit, I've already got two Mirandas. Oh, I merged the two Mirandas. Merge. There must be at least two military fleets of the same ship class. There is. What? The fuck? Something as simple as combining fleets. I don't know how to do. There is a five out of five here. Huh. Fleet one is maxed out. Hey, Joe. You want to play a zombie game? <laughs> no. Go into Romulan space. Can I follow them? With my camera, I'm zooming in. It doesn't. You will be my bride throughout eternity. We'll share the endless passion of immortal uh -huh. love. Oh, I can't wait. Not you. You will be my. Soul Reaper, faceless plumber. What's up? Like your Starfield review says, so plumber, above average disappoints about right. Ensign Munro, welcome back, sir. All right, well, now we are in Romulan space with uh, some Miranda classes. Uh, only have 267 firepower. Let's go blow up this thing. Well, I guess we're not at war. Bummer. Get him our station. Military power. How do I go to war? Fire. Fire everything. <laughs> God, I desperately want an RTS. Admiral, this is, uh, yeah, it's a skin. It's not a mod, it's a skin for Star Stellaris. Um. So. This is the mission log, our main center of operations where important briefings are stored. Contact screen is where we can view all of the other civilizations we have established communications Jolan with in true. the Alpha and Beta quadrants, as well as their opinions of us and our diplomatic Declare options. Declare war. 
Truce until 2355. We cannot declare war before the truce is ended. Son of a bitch. We can't go to war for two, seven years. Hmm. Well, bomber. How do I know which planets need uh, to be colonized? F type G type T type Rigel five. I remember Rigel H Cold World. Colonization candidate menu. The planet's management menu shows an overview of our planets, their pops, and present resource output. Planetary management can be automated here, but this requires the selected planet to be specialized. You should have brought more. The planet summary screen shows this is our construction. Should have brought more. Relic Ripblade, did you like season two Star Trek Strange New Worlds? I haven't yet seen it. Search and mining stations if the relevant deposits exist in the system's orbital box. The mission tree shows the watershed moments in our civilization's possible past and future histories. Each node describes a unique culmination of events that have fundamentally changed or will change our social, economic, and civil trajectories. Choose carefully. A timeline is a delicate thing. To explore strange new worlds to build a goal. Build the Enterprise. La Forge. Troy. Data. Uh, scientists assigned to science ships. This is one of two. System surveyed. Alright, we need to fucking survey the fuck out of these places. So let's do that. So, uh... We'll use the Ceratos, I guess. Requires a scientist. The leader's menu is where we can hire, dismiss, or assign governors, scientists, admirals, generals, and spies in need of work. Spies are not immediately available upon game start due to extenuating political circumstances in the galaxy. If they are still Wait a minute, we already have a scientist. They will return. Mining stations harvest minerals and... Incoming transmission. It was on. We don't. The science ship, the Samurai Queen. Automatic surveying. What are the. So, Samurai Queen and Miss Scarlet need to start surveying. Okay. Ah. Uh, Let's get the uh, USS Cerritos to do some surveying, probably. Automatic surveying requires scientists. All right, we need another scientist. Let's get a male scientist this time. The silent alarm has been triggered in Seoul. What? I don't see a si I don't see any enemies. All right, we need a scientist. Uh, 
Auto survey. So now I have two scientists assigned, and now I just need to start surveying systems. We will do our best to understand you. Enter into a migration treaty with the Betazoids. Okay. What are some good planets? Tundra. Habitability 80%. Low, low ha habitability. That's not good. Vulcan is already a colony. Ryza. This one looks good. Oh, Gaia. There you go. M class. Ryza. So we'll do that. Colony. Uh, colonize. Colonize. Name our colony. Um. Na name a colony. Rise of the Apes. <laughs> okay. Colonizing planet. We got Samurai Queen and Miss Scarlet surveying. I've got a small defense fleet here. I do want to fight something. But maybe being the Federation is not the best for that. So I have the Klingon DLC, which, so maybe we're gonna go right to war with the Romulan Empire here. If we play as the Klingons. Klingon Empire, okay. Bullshit that I have to pay extra for that. Keep AI advice on. Tips are enabled. Okay. So the mission tree shows the possible fates of the Klingon Empire. Each node describes moments in time that have fundamentally changed or will change our collective destiny. Anything is possible, but only if we are bold. Admirals assigned to military ships. Generals assigned to army transport ship. Fleet power. We are Klingons. There are no Klingon defeats. Only honorable deaths. No matter if we win or die, the strength of our people is anchored in the middle of all throughout time. History is written by the victors, but also by those worth remembering. So, I need to assign my admirals to the ships. Two admirals. Um...
How do I do that? Leaders. The leaders menu is where we can hire, dismiss, or assign governors, scientists, admirals, generals, and spies in need of work. Spies are not immediately. Bro, what the fuck? You're supposed to be speaking Klingon. Extenuating political circumstances in the galaxy if they are still unavailable at the time of this message. All right, we'll get two admirals, two places at once. Ship evasion, sublight speed. Bold admiral, wow. Weapon range, bold admiral. These two generals right here. Fopak, Wolgrath. We do not have enough resources. What? Why are we fucking poor? God damn it. Fopak. The the pork. Oh, the pork. I apologize for getting your name wrong. We must wait. All right. Well, I guess. How are we gonna? How do we get more energy credits? You can gain more energy, he says right here, by building energy districts on the surface of colonized planets, using construction ships to build mining stations around energy-rich planets or stars. Those two. Okay, so... Let's see if we can build... Oh, my God. We're going to try to play this game as an actual military game. Uh, no designation. We've, we've got four planets. Uh, construction ship. This is our construction ship, which is used for building orbital stations. Once a star Bros, I feel ripped off. I spent the money for the... To move there and build for the fucking... Stations. If the relevant deposits exist Cling on the system's orbital bodies, voices the processes are automated. The raw materials still need to be transported to their destinations. Once the star system has been fully surveyed, we can order a construction ship to move there and build research and mining stations. Okay. Well, first things first, we need our science ship. One of the few Klingon vessels not primarily designed for fighting. Rather, these starships are designed to survey star. So it works basically the same way. Let's have them automatic survey. This is our government ship. Its specialty is that it can be sent on missions to help our colonies achieve specific economic or military goals. Governors can also be sent to complete unique special projects that are of personal importance to them. Okay. Boran. Yeah, I don't know. Let's unpause. Behold, the galaxy we will conquer. Most vessels cannot travel forever, with the exception of science ships. A starship's warp range determines the maximum reach it can move in a given direction. Notifications are small. Let's put <gasps> the ashes. Of Kittimer, cowardly ambush by Romulans against our colony on Kittimer has led outrage across the Klingon Empire. The casualties of this senseless massacre number in the thousands. A nation we once believed to be our allies has finally revealed their true intentions. They have stolen an invaluable piece of Klingon territory right from under our lochdu. They see us as beasts. They can manipulate and murder without consequences. We will have our vengeance. The drums of war are beating. There is not a Klingon soul and heart alive who does not thirst for Romulan blood. The Klingon Empire will prove its worth by striking down our enemies, forging new alliances, and conquering anyone who stands in our way. The gates of Thor, Storvor, Kor await. We will be proactive in greeting other civilizations. We will be cautious towards other civilizations. We will be aggressive towards other situations. Civilizations. Okay. So where is this Kittimer? We need to immediately send a fleet. The 
ability of our warships to hold formation while we hunt and destroy their prey is second to none. An admiral should ideally be assigned to command each individual fleet. All right. Our spies are hard at work attempting to uncover the identities of the Romulans responsible for the murder of 4,000 Klingons. We should have obliterated the Romulans after the skirmish of Narendra three several years ago, but until we learn more about why they chose this moment to wage full-scale assault on one of our colonies, our spies will be unavailable. That's the same thing with the fucking Federation. Whatever. You better already be at war. Better, better not be able to. You better be able to just declare war. This game is just a bullshit. I just checked your voice back for Klingons. Is advisor only for those who pre-ordered? No, I I got the DLC, so it's it's the DLC. So why why is it why why is he not talking? See. I got the pre-purchase bonus upgrade. I'm playing the Klingons. Why is there no voice advisor? He did it one time. It was like the very start. He was speaking in Klingon once. This is bullshit. All right, we need a construction ship here. We, I, how do I know where to put the construction? Oh, here you go. So, build mining stations. Build mining stations. Building a mining station here gets 300, so that seems like a good idea. Already set the science ships to auto explore, so they're doing that right now. Automatic surveying. We can go to the shipyard. I guess there's no Klingon voices. Star bases can be upgraded to include shipyards and other valuable margins. Their presence in a system also grows our borders. Word of prey. Increases the warp range of our starships. Once a star base is built and that system falls under our hegemon, we are free to build research and mining stations there, or to terraform and settle any worlds that may be hospitable to life. We can build another bird of prey. 89 alloys. Oh my god, we can get our first admiral now. Let's get Topak. Topok. Wolgrath. Ship weapon range? No, we'll get Wolgrath, that one. Yeah, yeah. 
Okay. Now, we assign him to our fleet. Warcraft assigned to the first fleet. the first honor guard now revenge for Kittlemer let's go what Romulan Star Empire has closed their borders to us. What? Fuck off. I'm, I don't give a shit. Contact screen is where we can view all of our foes and allies in the Alpha. Jolan True. Tell about this civilization. Declare war! To declare war civilization we wish to conquer it is to our benefit to inform both our enemies and allies what we aim to accomplish no allies in this world is a proclamation of these conditions whether they dig their heels we in invite the Cardassian death, Union down their weapons and cower it makes no difference to us but it can help us along the path to victory especially when we need no we allies. need no help to declare a war goal select it from the menu claims are the process by which Jolan True. Humiliate. War is waged to un undermine the enemy. Conquer. Unknown war go. Our goal is fucking to humiliate you. Jolan True. <laughs> A million uh, upraised bat lefts. Gleam under our sacred torches. The Klingon Empire is at war. Our conduct on the battlefield will reflect our courage, training, and the unstoppable power of our empire. There is no more elite fighting forces in the entire galaxy. Our warriors will slay many foes and perform glorious deeds that will be sung about for centuries. We will win. War, Bathlafagda, something. Now, forward. What? Forward. Let's close their borders. Move. What the fuck? Move. Why can Whatever. We'll go to Fang Core first, I guess. I don't fucking know what the fuck is. What is this skull? Skull means don't go there? Aha, we have arrived. Is this your star base? Blow it up! Military power, 60. Yeah. Go, my word of prey. Hostages rescued. The Romulan Star Empire has freed a group of hostages. You didn't free them. We have lost contact with one of our fleets. The cause for the loss of comms remains unknown. There could be a simple explanation, but it could also be an incoming attack. What? 
Which fleet? First fleet goes missing and returns home. Random fleet status. Battle stations. Yeah, our first victory. Wait. So, at one hull point, it just becomes ours? Well, that's weird. Good job, Warcraft. Yach, yach, much. Oh. Now. To our true target, Kittimer. Remember the Alamo, I mean Kittimer. Oh shit. There's an actual fleet here. So governorship. Get them our station. Attack these assholes. This governorship. Right click to attack. I guess we'll just take the station first. Game changer. The Romulan Star Empire launched a field test of an experimental new weapon. Though we need more data, early analysis indicates firepower of this magnitude could change the outcome of the conflict. Oh no. We completed construction of a new mining station. Mercenary groups from across the galaxy have collect, uh, collectively to position us for mutually beneficial partnership. Support against the Star, I mean the Star Empire. Recruit mercenaries. Recruit mercenary fleet size 20. I need 110 energy credits. Bro, I have 0.27 fewer energy credits when this fucking thing happened. That's fucking stupid. So I can't. Can I wait on this? That is so stupid. Decline their offer. Alright, I guess I just... Or maybe I'll unpause. Uh... Why is it going up? What do you think? Very nice. It's very cool, baby. This, this is stupid. Nice. What do you think? Mike Z, drink, sip, and Joe. I sip your drink. Impressive. I drink a drink. I don't care. I don't care. It's not even my drink. Holy shit. Did I beat them too? Okay, well, I guess I win. Hermetically seed bipod has been located in a dry groundwater packet. Research, really, research. All right, I guess land troops. How do we get that going? Sci science ship, construction, bird of prey, where? Um. 
The ship design will not open. Supply lines hit. Okay, I need to pause the game. Jesus Christ. On the planet, you make land troops. Go to the planet, you own. Okay. Make. Uh, let's do the capital planet. Aha, armies. General. General. Leader cost. That guy's cheap. This guy's lifespan. Lifespan. Let's go for cheap. Fuck. I don't know, I need 175. Once a general has been commissioned. Son of a bitch, you can't even afford a fucking general. You're gonna be kidding me. The market is where we exchange resources to I would like to buy resources can be bought energy or credits. Here, though prices will not necessarily reflect current production. The laws of supply and demand still exist after <sighs> All right, well, I will sell minerals. Now I will. Recruit a general. Land army. Swords of Calus. God damn, that's uh, expensive. God damn it. How do I? Our primary metric for categorizing our politics. So I have an army here, right? Why can't I just use these army? I got four armies. Now what? Why do I have to? Why do I have to recruit new assault armies from the population? Why do I need to recruit these when I have four armies? Or is this just can be recruited and used to protect their planet? Those can't be used. These armies can be embarked and used for invasions. Ugh. Okay. Got my general assigned. Now I recruit. I need 300. Go to the market. Recruit. Warband. Yeah. Unpause. Majority of our research. There are few limits to what our scientists can discover. It is recommended to keep each research slot filled with a scientist whose traits best suit them for their field of study. Once research has been assigned, a priority can be set which will place that technology at the forefront of our efforts. Ice mining. Replicator holes, power core. I don't know. Okay. The tradition screen is where we can view our civilization's tradition trees. A tradition tree must conquest be in order to access its traditions. Adopting individual traditions costs unity, which is produced by buildings and jobs, or earned by completing certain events. A significant amount of unity is required to unlock both traditions. We will not back down. The traditions they contain, so it is wise to stockpile as 
much of this valuable resource Conquest. Conquest. Might makes right. Nice. We have established communications with another civilization. At least these six. How will we treat them? To formally engage in first contact procedures, we must assign an envoy. A universal translator may be required. We will need more workers. non cleon species can help us fill those roles. First contact investigation locked. Recite our first contact protocol. Phaser cannon standing by. I can gain a bunch of alloys. That's useful for building ships. Phaser cannon standing by. Oh. I guess I didn't click it in time. Open the bipod. No one can save us but ourselves. Klingon should be ruled by the strong. Phaser cannon standing by. Sign an envoy. This one. Or to engage in diplomacy with those we have transport ships move our armies from one planet to another. They are especially useful during active conflicts. Land all fleets, and we must capture hostile worlds by save his bad land all fleets. So I guess it's land all fleets. All right. Here comes our our trans our fleet here. It is a good day to die. There's been zero pushback from the Romulans. What the fuck? They're not even sending any fleets. The, our honor guard. Military power 625, here comes. We have a fleet in orbit. Man, gosh darn it. I want an RTS Star Trek again. I want I want I want maybe a purpose built 4X. Not a Stellaris skin. Makes me want that so bad. Now they're speaking Klingon. Here it goes. Bo boom. Um Okay, what happened? Oh, this sucks. There's no animation. Kidamar army. These are you guys. Quonos army. What do you mean no general? Did I forget to assign the general? The general's on the defense. That's right. We have successfully invaded Kittimer. Yay! That's it. We did it. Aha! We have honored the fallen and our ancestors. And beat those Romulans in their face. 
So we've taken two systems and they've done nothing. So I think I'll just save right here. Empire score screen shows how close we are. Alright, well, um the galaxy. As ridiculous as it is to mention, conquering our neighbors is not the only way of winning control of the galaxy. Civics can also forge a path. If one is cowardly enough to I need something a little more approximately three centuries, the strongest civilization will automatically be named the victor. Less grand strategy and more 4X attack pretty animations, I think. So oh, that's it for now. I downloaded a bunch of other demos, so let's see what else we got. So there's a there's stellar warfare. I downloaded this demo. Oh, was that did, when did I download that, or was it? Let's. No, maybe I didn't download. Did, I forgot which one I downloaded. During the Steam, let's see, recent, okay, here we go, recent, Realms of Ruin that has a um, single player, Stellar Insurgency, that's what it was, and then these are 4Xs as well, Sons of Silence I think is a 4X, and Solar Solium Infernium. Twilight Wars? Let's try Stellar Insurgency since it looks close. Okay, I'm going to reload the stream. <laughs> 